This is the Rheinmetall SASL, a super automat calculator made in around 1939. This is the most complicated calculator that Rheinmetall produced and it does fully automatic multiplication and division as well as addition and subtraction of course and it even has a, a second register so that you can use that as a, a memory or as a totalizer register. Rheinmetall was founded in 1889 in Dusseldorf as the Rheinische Metallwaren und Maschinenfabrik. They made ammunition and arms, but also other metal products such as pipes, using a patented process that was symbolized in the logo. In 1901 they acquired an arms manufacturing plant in Sumada, and after the First World War that is where these office machines were made. In the 1930s they started making arms again for the German government. In 1940 the German Chancellor even visited the factory and made a long speech there. When the Second World War ended, the Sumada plant was in East Germany under Soviet rule. They continued making uh, office machinery again, but then mostly for the Eastern Bloc. This machine runs on electricity and behind this small panel on the back there is a set of jumpers uh, as you can see here so a set of jumpers that you can set for various voltages either direct current or alternating current of course this one is now set to alternating current to 20 volts this machine uses a fairly standard plug of the time that uh, many other large machines used to use. This is a large complicated machine, so I'll go through all the basics fairly quickly. It has nine columns of input, so you can enter a number just by pressing one digit in each column that you need. So here I've entered 1234 can read that off up here. There are markers here, these, these uh, rods that you can uh, mark off a decimal point or a thousand separator if you like. Up here is the carriage with the main register, the storage register and the counter and a small item counter. We'll come back to those things later. But if you've entered a number you can press the plus or the minus button to add or subtract it from the main register. Let me add this number first. It's added it, it's up here now. Let me move this out of the way, this separator, this marker. Uh, so one, two, three, four. The keyboard was automatically cleared, but uh, this button here, it's missing its key top. You can lock that down so that it doesn't get clear. So if I now enter another number and add it, this one doesn't get cleared, so I could add it again. To clear the keyboard you can press this button, or you can uh, clear a column individually with these. These are essentially zeros. So if you have a, a sum in the top here, you can transfer it or add it to the uh, second register using this big lever up here. That transfers it up here or adds it and increments this item counter. So if I've done another calculation and I transfer this again, it gets added on. And the item counter is now two. I can also uh, do subtractions. Let me show that. I enter a number and I subtract something. And instead of adding this to the uh, second register, I can also subtract it by flipping this switch. Now this will be subtracted here. 
The item counter is still increased, so it's now three. Uh, these levers up here uh, clear these registers. So this is to clear the counter up here. This is to clear the uh, second register. Oh, I have to switch back to addition first. There we go. And this one clears the main register. You saw that this pulling this also moved the counter register. It's, uh, these are kind of linked in this way, but there is a small switch underneath here. There we go. And now these are disconnected. To clear the item counter here, you have to turn this little knob. You can back transfer the contents of the second register into the main register. So now let's do some more complicated uh, calculations. So um, let's do a multiplication. At the end of a multiplication the carriage shifts back to the left, but that can be disabled with this switch at the back. If you type the wrong number in the multiplier you can clear it like this. If you lock down this button, then the action of subtraction and addition are swapped and that is mostly used in combination with the multiplication so that now any product is subtracted from the register instead of added. When entering the dividend or at the start of a multiplication, the main register is cleared by pulling the transfer lever. That can be disabled with a switch on the side. The metal lever on the left will stop the division safely after the current digit has been calculated and the small knob will abort it immediately. This machine has a tabulation mechanism so if you put it somewhere in the middle and press this button, all divisions will start from here. As an extra, I want to show you this small diary calendar that uh, was from 1940 and it advertises the Rheinmetall machines, typewriters, and here we have the calculators as well, including the large machines such as the SA and the SASL. Of course, it's, otherwise it's a normal, normal uh, calendar, but some of the days are uh, marked as uh, special days, and those 
are mostly days that are important to the uh, Nazi government. Birthdays of prominent politicians, for example. And in the back we have lots of other pages as well, including this nice map of the uh, Autobahn network. Although most of the lines are dotted, showing that these are uh, planned constructions. This was the Rheinmetall SASL. Thank you for watching.